Droughts are a regular occurrence in California. The state has weathered four droughts since the late 1970s. The five-year drought that ended in 2016 was one of the warmest and driest since record-keeping began. The latest drought revealed that not all sectors and regions are equally prepared to manage future droughts. While major urban areas got through the latest drought without significant economic disruption, many small communities faced severe water shortages and needed emergency supplies of drinking water. Farmers can switch to groundwater to make up for reduced rainfall and surface water, but during long droughts, that can't make up for all water shortages. During the latest drought, farmers had to fallow thousands of acres of cropland. In 2015 alone, this triggered economic losses of $2.7 billion and 21,000 lost jobs. California's natural environment is the least prepared to get through serious droughts. Low flows in rivers and high water temperatures harm salmon and other fishes. Wildlife refuges struggle to provide enough wetlands for migratory birds. And hot, dry conditions worsen the state's risk of extreme wildfires. Droughts test California's water management systems and expose their weaknesses. They also provide opportunities to improve the state's ability to weather future droughts. Lessons from the latest drought can help California begin preparing for the next one. One piece of good news is the progress that cities have made in coping with drought. In California cities, agencies have made major investments in diversifying their water supplies through activities such as increases in surface and groundwater storage, purification and reuse of wastewater, and collecting stormwater. They've also made substantial progress in reducing water demand. All these activities together have reduced the impacts of drought. Yet we need to redouble our efforts to better prepare for the future. In particular, special attention should be directed towards more effective water pricing to encourage reductions in outdoor watering. Most Californians don't realize that landscape irrigation accounts for half of urban water use. California is an agricultural powerhouse, but one that has become increasingly vulnerable to drought. To their credit, farmers have shifted to using scarce water on more profitable crops, such as nuts, fruits, and wine grapes. The challenge with these orchards and vineyards is that they need water every year. To make sure water is available for these crops during drought, farmers need to better manage their groundwater reserves and engage in more water trading. California's climate is changing, becoming more variable and warmer. Droughts are expected to be more frequent and more intense in the future. There are no silver bullet solutions to drought. We need an all of the above approach. This means conserving where we can and upgrading our water supply systems. With good planning and strategic investments, California can adapt to even major changes in climate without significant harm to our economy and our way of life. It won't be cheap or easy, but we can do it. Thank you.